Hey everyone! So today I wanted to do a what's in my bag so you could take a look into my purse and see what I carry around on, with me on a daily basis. And, oh, sorry I just realized it's snowing outside. I am not a fan of snow. Oh, snow. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, my bag has things in it that I carry around with me all the time. My purse doubles as kind of a briefcase, if you will. I don't go into an office. I work at a high school as a voice teacher, so I have some things in there that normally people don't carry around in their purses. Maybe you do. I don't know. But it's just because I'm a voice teacher, and things like that are things that I carry around all the time. So I'm going to reach down here into my big old baby here. Okay, so here is my bag. I don't know, can you see? She's pretty huge. Let me stand up. Look at how big she is. Big purse. This is a coach bag. I got it at one of the coach outlets and I absolutely love it because it fits everything I need in here. Except sometimes when I put too much in here, it doesn't close. But let's take a look inside and see what I have. First, this is what it looks like on the inside. If you can see. I try to keep it organized. Anyway, the first thing I pull out in here is something that I carry with me everywhere, and that is my water bottle. I never, ever leave home without a water bottle because I think it's a vocalist thing. I'm always thirsty, and my throat always just needs nourishment, and I prefer nothing more than water. And so it comes with me everywhere. What else do I have in here? I have my cell phone, which is nothing exciting. It has a pretty purple background. And right now you can't see it. It says it's 4.16 p.m. And it's a Droid Eris. I have a little container of Advil because I always need ibuprofen for one reason or another. And in my other pocket, I keep my iPod Touch. No, it's another musician thing because I always have my music with me. In my little makeup clutch here that I got from Sephora for their free thing, this is what it looks like on the inside. And I just have in this little side pocket here, I have my NARS lip gloss in Turkish Delight. I have this little Ulta Duo thing that I got in one of their free gifts, I'm sure. This one's kind of a sheer peach, peach shimmer with gold in it. And this is a really pretty color that's kind of a natural mocha. It's pretty much the same color as that Lip Lights by Bonnie Bell in Mocha Latte. Which, so I really like it. I wear this, this thing all the time. And I can't get the third thing out, but it's very exciting. It's a lip smacker. It's upside down. It's a lip smacker. And it's in the bubblegum flavor. I always, always have a lip smacker or some sort of chapstick on me. It's usually lip smackers. I've worn those since I can't even remember when, probably since I was 10. And I will probably wear them until I'm 80. So that's fine. And then in this other pocket, I just have my CoverGirl Buff Beige Clean Pressed Powder for oil control. And it's a little pad here, like that. I'm going to have to get a new one of these soon, too. So that's what's in my fun little makeup case thing. And then in here, oh, and I have my little powder brush for if I don't like that pad. Sometimes I just swipe the powder brush in it because it's quicker. and It's soft. I love the feeling of soft things. I heard that there's some study about soft things and how it actually makes you it triggers happy hormones or something. Soft things like fleeces and hoodies and soft blankets and makeup brushes and puppies. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Maybe that's why I like animals so much because they're soft. I have in here, this is the reason my purse is so big because I keep my iPad in there. And normally I don't carry around my iPad, but I got home from work not too long ago. And I got my iPad. See the cute puppy? Can you see it? It's wearing a Santa hat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's super cute. I use my iPad for many a thing, including the Glee karaoke application. I am guilty of that. But I have this awesome little thing called MusicNotes.com. 
What is it telling me? There are new songs available in my wish li in my list. All right, it is syncing. So you can scroll through all the sheet. I can scroll through the sheet music that I've bought, or they've given to me for free because it's their song of the week or something. And then I can click on it. Let's see. The only exception by Paramore. I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, you can. And it's sheet music. How awesome is that? And then I can flip pages. It's pretty cool. So I actually take this because I have a notebook application on here that keeps track of my students and when they've paid me. And it also keeps sheet music on here, which is really, really cool because I don't have to carry a bunch of books with me then. Only a couple things left. I have a Bath and Body Works Essential Amber Body Splash, a mini one. I have a song list that one of my students made for me of songs she would like to sing in the near future. Amy Grant songs. I have my hairbrush. Nothing exciting. I have my favorite hand cream in the entire world. Look Ma New Hands by True Blue Spa. I worked at Bath and Body Works for three years and every single time a person walked into the store and asked for a hand cream, I was able to successfully sell them one of these. It is just my favorite hand cream in the entire world. It smells really nice and it makes your hands so, so soft. And I have my new Weight Watchers Ultimate 3 Month Tracker. They just launched, oh and there goes my pencil. And they just launched this new program, and this is what the inside of the tracker looks like. I'm not going to show you one that I've actually filled out. But you're supposed to keep track of your points plus, and I don't know how many of you do Weight Watchers. Probably not many of you. Maybe, maybe some of you do, which is awesome. Because Go ahead and tweet me about Weight Watchers if you actually do do it, because I'm always interested to hear your strategies, your techniques, what your favorite and least favorite foods are. Anyway, then I have my wallet looks like this. I, oh my goodness, things are flying everywhere. What did I just lose? A gift card. It's okay, I'll pick it up later. I have my Alpha Chi Omega checkbook cover, because I am in fact an Alpha Chi Omega. And my credit cards, my driver's license, a bunch of loyalty cards, my Borders Rewards card. I was in that pocket. And then on this pocket, which I guess I don't have zipped, is my is cash and my Ulta Rewards card and some checks that I haven't cashed yet. And then the last thing, yeah, oh my goodness, the last thing I have in this giant bag of mine is my set of keys. I have a Twilight key ring. I don't even know why I still carry that, but I do. I have a house key. I have the key to my church and the key to all of the rooms in my church. I've had those since I was like 16. That's how much time I've spent at the church. I have, uh, on here I have the heart of the dog tag with my dog Bailey on it. And she was my little yellow lab and we had to put her down last February. So it's almost been a year or 10 months now. And it makes me very sad. The first snow happened and Bailey was a dog who would go and like face plant into the snow. You have to understand she was this huge overweight like 90 something pound yellow lab and who never grew up. She always thought that she was a puppy up until the day she died. And that's one of the things I loved about her. Apparently when I went away to college she would sit by my door and just wait for me to come home. And my mom told me that and I'd be all sad. So when we put her down, I took her name tag and put it on my key ring, so I always have it with me. I also have an Alpha Chi Omega keychain, which is like our family keychain. We have families in Alpha Chi Omega, and my family all has that keychain. I have a Massage Envy card, a Jewel Osco card, a Godiva card, and the Carthage College Alumni Association, because that is, in fact, where I went to school. And then this, I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is the wildest thing ever. This is my car key. If you'd notice, there's no key. I have a Ford Fiesta, and all I have to do is push a button and the car starts. So, this is everything that I keep in my bag. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below, as always. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!